Hello friends, welcome. Happy that you're here. If you enjoy fragrance, you found the right place. My name is Dave. As you can tell, we have Montel, the house of Montel. If you don't know them, they're a niche house that come out with a lot of fragrance every year. And that's why sometimes it could be overwhelming. Especially a lot of them have very uh, similar notes, share notes, especially they're specialized in Aoud. So I think they pro basically use Aoud in every single fragrance, it seems like. Now with that said, that's why I'm going to you know, share some of my favorites with you in case you want to get into the house. They're famous for their beast mode. That means the longevity is crazy. You spray a couple of sprays and it will last you through the day. Basically all of their uh, fragrance are beast mode. So with that in mind, it's totally worth the money if you're looking for something that is uh, not your typical designer, not your typical, you know, uh, mass appealing type of scent that everybody's wearing. But a lot of them are still very, very uh, versatile, meaning you can wear to a lot of places and people will enjoy them as well. So with that said, I mean, we'll be talking about dark vanilla. And as the name said, it smells like vanilla, it's just darker. And it's going to be one of those easier to wear because vanilla is kind of hard to offend people. And most people enjoy the scent of vanilla. It's, it's very comforting. One of those very enjoyable, relaxing, comforting scent. But in a darker way because they added a lot of the ingredients like the leather, there's wood, amber, spices, patchouli, and sandalwood. As you can tell from all those notes, it's going to be a darker, uh, deeper, and uh, very warming kind of scent. It's perfect for the cold weather, especially for the cold spring nights, where this, you, you are going to enjoy this. You're going to enjoy the whiff from the wind, or even if you're in the, inside the house cuddling, watching movies. This is perfect. I love this one. My favorite from the house is going to be Honey Aoo and Intense Cafe, which is back there. This is close third. All three of the, the one I mentioned are just all, all very, very strong, very projecting, very long lasting and very appealing. All right. All these are very appealing. Maybe dark vanilla because there's the added spice and wood in the base. It might not be as appealing as Honey Aoo. But or intense cafe, honey and cafe are more acceptable by people, right? By the masses. But dark vanilla, because the darkness in there is not your typical vanilla. But then that is the reason why I enjoy it. Um, there are a lot of fragrance that's vanilla dominant, and they will add a lot of other sweetness to it, like amber and honey. But then because they add a spice here, it makes it more, it makes it more interesting makes it more uh, different and um, not boring. How's that? Vanilla is great. Vanilla itself is great. But if I just wear it for a few times, I want to add something else to it, right? So example, if we drink coffee, we want to add cream, maybe. Maybe sometimes it's a different um, flavor of cream, like uh, sometimes this espresso cream, sometimes this, um, what else are there? There's a variety of flavors of creams, right? That's what I meant. So if it's not just vanilla, you're going to have dark vanilla with spices in there. This patchouli and it does have, you know, the leather and the darker notes of the woods. So playing all together, it commingle to a very, very nice scent profile. And the um, longevity is so good. I sprayed it. Look at this still all very oily. The concentration of the um, perfume oil is very high for all the fragrance, I think. As, as far as the ones I try, I have maybe 20 bottles, variety of them. And um, I really, really enjoy this one. That's why it's my top three. Uh, with that said, it's um, maybe the age group, maybe it's 21 and up um, because it will note me. Okay, let's say 25. Okay. I would not imagine teenager to, to, to enjoy this. It is a more uh, experienced nose and um, occasions um, might not be suitable for office 
because it's very projecting it projects very much and it lasts a long time so <laughs> if you go to the office and some people don't like it you know, you're stuck with it maybe you just have to go to your bathroom and just wash scrub it off and wash it off right but um it's definitely not for meetings so just with that in mind okay if you're the people around you enjoy this go ahead right uh, wear it but it's not really office friendly now um what else so if you never try this house like i said they, they have a lot of fragrance in their catalog and it, it could be um, overwhelming to know which one to try this will be one of those that if you are not a super beginner and you want to dig into the house of uh, like niche houses this one is should be up there that you should try dark vanilla you're gonna have the easy going vanilla that most people enjoy and you're adding a little bit of the darker woods yeah i think you know you enjoy this one it's really nice and it's on the sweet side of course vanilla and the um this amber so it's going to be on the sweeter side but it's so enjoyable i mean i love this one on the cold weather you put this on and the, the you walk around with the with a cozy wind blowing oh get a whiff of this lovely 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 um it might lean a little bit more feminine okay yeah, I'm trying to picture. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna say unisex because the the dark, you know, the darker notes are are gonna be more uh, more <laughs> masculine. Anyhow, with that said, um, I hope this is helpful. If you want to dig into this house or you want to try some niche, this is one of the top one that I will try. And with uh, the Honeywood too, I'll maybe to do a review and the Intense Cafe together to introduce you guys to all three. All right. The other one are really good too, all right? But like I said, these are my favorite. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave any comments. I'll try to answer it. And as always, I really appreciate you watching. Uh, remember to subscribe and thumbs up. And see you next time.